Hi, I'm Jack from Jack Bells Photography and today I'll be doing a gear review of the Cinto D4i. Included will be an overview, some key features for diving, some features which aren't so useful, some things to look out for and my final thoughts. The Cento D4i is an attractive watch style dive computer. It's got an, it has an optional pressure sensor and it's got four buttons which make it very easy to use and navigate between the uh, different menus, including underwater. What are the key features for diving of the Cento D4i? Well, as you can see, it's a very attractive watch style dive computer. So it's really good for everyday use and the functionality is very easy to use. The, you can quickly change the modes to Nitrox and change the percentages. If you do that, it'll stay in Nitrox mode for 24 hours, but it's easy to set the percentage mix down to 21%, so you can continue to dive air if you so desire. The integration with the transmitter is useful for me. I really like seeing all the information in one place, and I think the uh, the pressure readings are more accurate with a pressure sensor than a traditional gauge, but it's always good to have a backup with the gauge there. Um, it has the key dive modes for you as well, so air, nitrox and free. Which features aren't so useful? Well, you can connect this to a computer and download all of your dive data. I think that's really good. I found that very useful personally. However, the cable that you use is quite fiddly, it goes into this port here and mine lasted about 200 dives before it stopped working properly. So that's not so good. What are the things to look out for on the Sunto D4i? Well, I think the big one is the reliability. Um, I've had this for three years. Uh, it was my main dive computer before. Uh, and I've had to have it replaced under warranty. So this is actually the, the second one. I think they're good for around 300 dives. So maybe this one is due to go again. So the reliability of the pressure sensor is a big problem for me. Second, the cost of the replacing battery. So you can take the back off and try replacing the battery itself. I think you might be able to buy a kit with an O-ring, which would be a good idea. Uh, but if you can't change it yourself, then it's very expensive to send it off and you'll lose it for a while as well. So you'd better have a backup dive computer. The, the light, um, the light, so you can see it's a bit feeble on this. Not as good as the Cento Viper. And the Cinto Viper, you can shine a torch on, so at night time you can quickly see the, the numbers, the details on your dive computer. With this one, you can't. You just rely, you're just reliant on the light. And for me, it's not great. So this is not a great night diving computer. There's a timer on this if you need to do some accurate timing, uh, but I found that very cumbersome and fiddly to use. Also, a generic one for all Cento dive computers. Ignore the deco warnings on this and your dive computer uh, won't operate for 48 hours. For me, that's a good thing. My verdict on the Cento D4i. Well, it's very attractive, so you can use it as an everyday watch. It's very easy to use and has good levels of functionality. So it's really good for divers uh, that are maybe occasional up to 50 dives a year. If you're uh, something like a dive professional, a dive guide or an instructor, then I don't think the reliability of the pressure sensor is good enough for you. So my suggestion would be to try somewhere else. Remember, photography is not a spectator sport. See you next time.